Daryl and I have spent countless hours building cool custom Jeeps. The problem was, they were never for us. So when we set out to build Project Crusader, we knew exactly what we wanted, and most importantly, we wanted it to ourselves. We overanalyzed every curve, measurement, and angle, from the sheet metal trimming to the wheelbase to the ride height, to make this Jeep look proportional from every direction. The premise of this project was to stuff 40 inch tires in a super low stance. And we accomplished that with a four inch stretch, custom rear quarter panel armor, and a super sweet BDS long arm suspension kit. So we didn't want to build a 20 footer or even a five footer. This JK is a cool custom hot rod in every sense of the word. Our stretch was designed to use as many factory mounts as possible, so if you roll underneath it, it looks like it rolled right off the assembly line. But no Jeep comes standard with 40 inch Toyos or anything even remotely cool as these trail gear creeper locks. When you run tires this large, you have to address the driveline. This Jeep was screaming for a TerraFlex Dana 44 replacement housing, and that's exactly what we gave it. But you can't run the stock shaft, so we threw in some RCV axle shafts when we had it all apart. But we needed custom heavy duty drive shafts, so we got a hold of James from Adams Drive Shaft and had him do his magic on our drive lines. In order to move this beast on the road, we knew we had to soup up this minivan of a motor. Our friends at Rip Supercharger gave us a way to ramp the horsepower into the 300s with their supercharger kit and their awesome long tube headers. But you can't run free flowing exhaust on the front without doing something in the back. So we added a stainless MagnaFlow cat back exhaust kit, which gives this Jeep a great exhaust note. In order to throw some serious light down the trail, we threw on a 50 inch LED light bar and these awesome truck light LED headlights. Obviously it wouldn't be a JCR off-road Jeep without our product. So we threw on a couple Mahler bumpers, some Crusader sliders, and sprinkled in some prototype parts you'll see in production soon. But since we live in Michigan and it's still frozen tundra in almost April, let's take this payoff to a warmer climate. Let's head out to Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah. Load it up!